Okay, so welcome back to another video and welcome to this 84 rated Latura Martinez review. Now, a bunch of you guys actually requested that I do this video and it's finally here, so hopefully you do indeed enjoy it. I've already used him a few times and as you can see from his record, he's been pretty effective for me in that striker role, setting up plenty of chances for Dybala. Uh, we're going to play a few more games with him today and hopefully get a bit more out of him. Now, even before I'd used this card, I knew it was going to be good because uh, I'd come up against it a bunch in rivals and he's just a handful. He is not an easy player to dispossess of the ball and he can certainly do some damage in FIFA 21. So, let's take a closer look at this card. 4 star, 4 star, very, very good for a striker. Also, high medium work rates. In terms of player traits, we have flair and power header, so we will make sure we cross the ball into him. Now, in-game attributes. His pace is good, but it's not amazing, and that's why we're going to be applying the Hunter Kemp style. His shooting attributes are already pretty nice, but the Hunter Kemp style, once again, benefits that area as well, which is obviously great to see. He's got nice tap positioning of 85 and nice finishing of 86. Both of them will, of course, be boosted. His passing for a forward actually isn't bad for a striker, to be honest. 78 short passing and 73 long passes for this stage of the game really isn't bad for a striker, so I'm happy with that area of his game. Would I play him as a cam? No, but um, as a striker, I think that's fine. Dribbling, good agility, nice ball control, and pretty good in-game dribbling rating, so should feel pretty nice on the ball. Balance isn't the best, but it's definitely not awful. And then finally, in the physical section, very, very nice stats. Good jumping of 88, nice strength of 83, and good aggression of 86. Those attributes right there should make him a nightmare to dispossess. He should be very, very good at hold at play and very strong in-game, and hopefully we'll see that in the footage. So without further ado, let's get into some matches, and let's try him out. Well, in game number one, we are certainly up against it. My player, my opponent, sorry, has Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, and yeah, like every single one of them is worth more than I think my entire club for most part. So uh, yeah, this game could be a, a tough one. We're going to have to defend well. Nice chance. Latoura gets in behind, gets the ball across the box. Oh, Courtois just makes the stop. Bauer slides it through for Latura. He's going to try and dance around. Put the ball inside and oh, we should have got one back there. We've got a penalty. And down the middle we go and there's one back. So half time, as you can see, we are one goal down. I actually think I've played rather well, but um, yeah, his team is just is, is mad. Like you can't let Ronaldo and Mbappe have shots inside the box. Ultimately I did and they're not going to miss. So uh, yeah, we need to be better. Corner here. Latoura Martinez at the front post. There we go. We get the equaliser. Very nice cross, cross the goal run from, uh, cross, the, cross the defender run, sorry, from Martinez there to then put the ball across the back of the net out of the reach of the keeper. Might be one more chance in this game. The bower can he get on the inside? No. But that should be enough. Ref, there we go. Full time. We get a 3-2 win against a very, very good side. Wow. Big second half. Big, big second half. Next up for us is a team which is still pretty good, but definitely not as impressive or as intimidating as the last one. But um, he does have some very good players in there. Rodrigo, Richardson, Adama, a very good backline of Kanate and Upamakano with Neuer in net. So, uh, very good side. Very, very good side. Yeah, we break for the Bauer. A lot of space for him to run into, too. Balls across the box, and there's Latura, perfectly positioned, and that's 1-0. My opponent pressuring me for the first three minutes. We break and put the ball in the back of the net. That's what we like to see. Nice. Go on, Latura. Get him behind. Go on. Chance. Left footed. Oh, he's moved his keeper. Hmm. Good bit of play here. Latura. Can he get round his man? Yes, he can. Left footed strike. Oh, it's at Neuer, but he's being fouled once more. And he's got us another penalty. Nice. That's a great through ball. For Paolo Dybala. And there we go. 2-2. Two, two. Got to do it all by yourself, Latura. Got to do it all by yourself. You've got the strength. You also have some pace. You've come inside. You've done really well. Oh, the shot. Sadly just denied. This attack is not over yet. It's not over yet. And we've got the goal. Tenacious work from Latura Martinez. And just like that, at halftime, it's 4-2. It very well could have been 2-1 to my opponent, but we scored three goals in very quick succession at the end of that half. Big, big momentum switch. We are going to make some changes for the second half. Though. I want some pace on the wings, so we're going to bring 
um, Alfonso Davis and Ansu Fati on, and obviously Martinez will just remain as our striker. Here's a chance. Can we get inside the box? Yes, we can. Latoro makes it five. And now there's some serious breathing room in this game. Nice on the 10 there from Martinez before powering the ball into the back of the net. He's set plenty up in this game. He's deserved a goal. Nice pass into Dybala, who's going to return the favour over the top. Can Latoura get on the end of this? You bet he can. And in the end, Ansu Fati gets a goal. I should have gone for the chip there. I went for the power shot instead, and uh, ultimately I think that cost him a goal because I think he would have finished that chip. And there's full time. We get the win, and it's a big 6-2 win. You won't believe we were behind at some point in that game, would you? And we were getting dominated at that point too, but we turned it around, and we got the W. Um, Latoura with two goals and two assists as well. He was brilliant in that game. He really was. Time has come to give a verdict on this card, and ultimately, it's going to be a pretty positive one. That's because this is a very good striker card. Do I think it's an elite top-tier card? No, I don't. Um, but it's a very, very good one, and considering it costs under 30k, I think it does come at very good value for money. In-game, I liked how annoying he was for the opposition to tackle. He's not an easy player to dispossess of the ball because he's got really good physicals, nice ball control, and also he's just composed in possession as well. So uh, not an easy player to take off the ball, and that's a benefit. Um, his pace felt good, definitely helped by the Hunter Kemp style though, so definitely do advise using that Kemp style if you pick this guy up. Like to shoot in a lot, very good finisher, nice shot power in game, left foot, right foot, the guy can score with both. Very, very happy with his goal scoring ability. And he's not just good with his feet, he's good with his head too. He is certainly an aerial threat, whether that be from set pieces um, or just in-game crosses. The guy is someone you should aim for. Also, when taking goal kicks, that's another option as well to punt the ball to the field. This guy will win headers. I think his hold-up play is fantastic, and that is one of the best things about this card for me. I think he is a great second striker. I don't think he works as well just being the main man, but I think when partnered with someone who's got a bit of pace about them and they're a good bit of dribbling about them, I think this guy is good. That's when he's going to show his full potential, and that's when he did for me. Linking this guy up with uh, Dybala, that them two together as a duo were just so great. They played off each other so well. And you have seen in the clips, this guy sets up goals. His passing, in my opinion, is better than the in-game stats suggest. Because, uh, yeah, he was very good to me. Through balls, short passes, whatever. Like, the guy was setting up goals left, right and centre. And that was really, really nice. So, uh, very happy with him in the team. And as I say, he works very well in a duo. So... What have we left out? We've left out the positioning, which was a very strong area for this card. Once again, you'll have seen in the clips, makes good runs, gets into space, and just causes trouble when he's in the box. He's a, he's a, he's a handful. He really, really is. Not the most agile of dribbles, let's say, compared to other forwards, but um, he's still pretty good in possession, and that is very, very nice. Occasionally when passing or shooting, and he's not, the uh, pass can go or shot can go a bit wayward, but uh, for most part... Um, with possession of the ball, he does feel very, very nice. And the fact that he's got good ball control, good strength, like I've touched on already, does make him a nightmare to uh, try and tackle at times. I do feel like this card, though, could be a bit hit and miss for some people. I think depending on your playstyle, some people might not like this card. But I think for the most part, most people will because it's a very nice striker option. And like I said earlier in the video, for under 30k, I think that is very good value for this time uh, for this stage sorry of the game so worth a pick up if you run with a serious side in my opinion anyway guys those are my thoughts on the 84 rated latura martinez i hope you enjoyed the video if you have drop a like rating on it if you've got any questions pop them down below subscribe if you're new thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one